It was a time for prayer and reflection in Herkimer as hundreds packed the First United Methodist Church, turning to their faith as they cope with the loss of four innocent men from their community. For some who knew the victims, tonight's service was a chance to reflect. My father was a very kind and gentle man. We played sports together, we played music together, we shared a lot of time together, and, and I just want to let everybody know that I love him and I miss him very much. Tom was a tall man with a ponytail, with a guitar, and uh, loved to sing. And uh, that's how we remember him as a wonderful singer. For others, it was tough coming to terms with crimes so horrible happening in their own backyards. It's Mohawk. Nothing like this is supposed to happen. So at first it was just kind of shock. And now I think everybody's starting to accept the fact and trying to help each other through it. Just days after the tragic shootings on Wednesday, the memorials here and in Ilian are giving people a chance to come together and to begin healing as a community. I think we're all feeling a little traumatized and I do agree with the idea of healing, coming together and healing as a community. This tragedy has hit our little town. Um, it, it's been, it rocked our world and it's just a, a chance for us to pray and to be together to to help each other heal. And it's that faith that is helping people as they grieve and begin to pick up the pieces. Reporting from Herkimer, I'm Katie Corrado.